Pluto has this report. Johnny Depp arriving in court this morning. He's brought this case to try to clear his name of an allegation that he is a wife beater. It was those words that were in a headline in an article in The Sun when the journalist Dan Wooden questioned J.K. Rowling supporting the casting of Johnny Depp in an adaptation of her Fantastic Beasts book. The allegations of physical abuse were made by Johnny Depp's former wife, Amber Heard, who also arrived at court this morning to watch proceedings. The heart of this case is Johnny Depp's reputation. The accusations that he repeatedly assaulted Amber Heard, that he seriously injured her and at times left her fearing for her life. The Sun says there was overwhelming evidence supporting her claims. All of this, Johnny Depp denies. The court was shown this footage, secretly filmed by Amber Heard, of an angry Johnny Depp kicking doors and drinking. He was asked in court, would you agree you were violent? He answered, I was violent with some cupboards. He said there was no violence towards Amber Heard and that it was she who had punched him. In one incident, he said she had partially severed his finger after throwing a vodka bottle. Libel cases such as this are rare these days and payouts unlikely to compensate for the huge cost but this is about reputation. I don't think um, it's going to be about a big libel payment. I think there'll be other reasons for doing it, personal reasons for doing it, and reputational reasons. You're, there's not going to be a huge payout, I would think. You came today because you crave something new, something different. The trigger for the original article was the decision to recast him in the Fantastic Beasts movie. The case has shone a light on the private life of one of Hollywood's biggest stars. His drinking, his drug use, and his temper. He admits the relationship was volatile, but denies assaulting Amber Heard. Lawyers say she stands by her claims and disputes his version of events, and she will, in the days to come, give her account to a case which is scheduled to last three weeks. David Silito, BBC News.